Uh, Mr. Chairman, distinguished guests, fellow artists, ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to all of you. Thank you. Well, the International Art, International Art and Culture Federation, though it was founded slightly more than one year, it has organized and participated in many, many exhibition and activities as mentioned by the chairman a moment ago. Well, I think all this is attributed to the hard work and able leadership of the chairman, none other than the founding chairman, Mr. Tan Wen Chang. Let's put our hand together. Because of his energetic push, so the the whole committee members you know, work very closely, and they all cooperated quite seamlessly. That's why we had the exhibition and forum today. This is, uh, to me, a very remarkable uh, event. Very good. Well, <coughs> let me also want to uh, express our, our welcome and thank to the overseas artists coming to participate in this uh, event. I hope all the uh, overseas artists have a good time in Singapore. Well, I think this forum and exhibition also give us a chance to exchange views of not just the in the art, you know, scene, but also in in other other topics too. Well, I think generally art critics will define a, a good painting or artwork. You should have the three elements. Firstly, is the Quality. Second is the ethnicity, and the third one is the individuality. With these three elements, then can judge a painting, whether it is a fine painting or a medical painting. Well, I think th this time around. We have paintings from many, many foreign countries, so we can we can carefully and read. I would say read the painting, not just uh, look at it and then go away. We have to read, then you can see what is their strength, what is their uh, techniques. So this is a very good opportunity for local artists as well as the uh, OC artists to exchange view. So this afternoon, we have a forum as mentioned by the chairman a moment ago. I think that was a very successful and fruitful uh, forum. And tonight we can have a look of all the painting. As I said, we should read 
each and every painting so that we can have a very good uh, exchange views, exchange notes of, of us. I think uh, <coughs> the International Art and Cultural Federation has a very, very important mission as mentioned by the chairman a moment ago is to bridge, bridge the, uh, the art in Singapore with the rest of the world, not just the region. Well, so in Singapore, what is it that we can call this a uh, uniquely Singapore? I think for the older generation, they identify Singapore art as with Nanyang Star. Nanyang Star. I think that was originated from the founding principal of Nanyang Academy of Fine Art, Mr. Lim Hak Tai. He listed six, six uh, objectives of the Nanyang Academy of Fine Art. In fact, it's NAFA. One of which is to brand the art of the East and the West. And then, because we, we are located in the tropical uh, region, so we should have the Nanyang uh, characters in our paintings. Well, I think he, he is right uh, to try to evocate the Nanyang star. Uh, but <laughs> this Nanyang star, I think to the general, uh, the, the older generation, I think we all also, uh, we are here to this, uh, this I work here. But to the young artists, I think some of them, they are more prone to contemporary arts. So they say Singapore, we should or call our work as Singapore Star, as against Nanyang Star. Well, I think whether it is Nanyang Star or Singapore Star, it will take a long time to evolve. So we don't have to, <laughs> to be involved in the discussion or debate of this, whether Nanyang Star or Singapore Star. Well, as today I think we are all here to participate huh? and this, uh, see, to view all this painting, I think this is a very good opportunity for us to learn from one another. So on this note, I, I wish the exhibition every success. Thank you.